We will definitely be meeting a familiar face here, I guess. However, she is going to look very, very weird with the quote-unquote wrong hair colour. This is going to be interesting. Now, I will say, I have actually seen what she looks like before. Stupid official website of this game, spoiling her in a My Castle trailer. Hmm. Oh, this is a Deep Realm. Okay, then. Yes, where is totally not um, a certain person that we may have seen in an earlier game? Father. Ah, here she is! Ah, uh, yeah, you look different without red hair. So, this is Kale Dory, totally not an acronym of Cordelia, who she totally isn't. You know what, I actually kind of like this hair colour on her at this point, only because it actually makes her look less like Cordelia. With this hair colour, she actually does look more like what I'd picture Hannah's daughter looking like, actually. So, really, I'm kind of okay with this. Kaldori. Oh, cool, wow, he has a, he has a um, unique voice clip. Probably to emphasise how it's actually pronounced. So, yeah, a lot of people are annoyed by this because uh, her name doesn't sound Japanese-inspired at all. Goodness. Because, um, yeah, because Cordelia's Japanese name was Tiamo, which anagrammed to Matoi, which is a legitimate Japanese name, that worked. Thankfully, we got lucky with another one of the, the Totally Not Awakening kids. But in this case, uh, personally, when I was thinking about how they could do this, I was thinking change the C to a K and then change the L's to R's. And you could do something like Rideako or something like that. That's probably not a legitimate Japanese name either, but uh, it would still sound more Japanese than Kaldori. Anyway though, apparently the first part though is kind of like, s s comes from Sky, and Dori is Japanese, well, Tori, but Dori when it's in a compound, is Japanese for bird. So in a way it does mean Sky Bird, so it's kind of a meaningful name. In some ways it makes a little more sense if he marries a certain character, who we totally will be marrying on the third route, and he'll have like a half-Western and a half-Japanese name for the child. Anyway. <laughs> yes. War strategy! Interesting. You're taking a page out of, um, the... the a character from a universe that you totally haven't reincarnated from, or will reincarnate into. It's a wow. little confusing. <sighs> oh, you probably will shortly. Take your time. See, okay, one thing that I will give these paralogues over the Awakening Child paralogues. In the Awakening Child paralogues, the parents had never seen the children before, and in some cases were outright shocked at what they looked like, or didn't even recognize them as their own children in the case of Maribel. This time, you actually start the paralogue with a parent-child bonding moment, and they already know each other, so that is something that I will give these paralogues over Awakenings. Reporting. Yep. All right. Looks like a perfect opportunity for Kaldori to I'm prove here herself. Too. Huh? Well, Please tell not? me you don't have NPC itis. Nah. <laughs> nah, we got it under control. I can't really either, but. Kaldori. I. Certain that she's gonna start out with better stats than him, though. <laughs> oh no, don't run off on your own. I really hope we don't have a case of NPC-itis here. Okay, what do we got here? A really big river with us being kind of... Oh wow, that's an invisible sorcerer. I didn't notice you there. Okay, that... Oh right, okay, there are only a few promote enemies, but still, uh... Pr there are some fairly strong promoted enemies here. Some heroes. Yeah, gonna have to definitely choke these. And there's a hero right near us from the beginning. I hope we don't get too over level from doing this paralogue. Yeah, there are quite a few sorcerers here. I haven't seen what generic sorcerers look like in this game. Their outfits actually look a lot like Iago's. Interesting. Okay, that one has Fimble Vitter, and for some reason is actually stronger than the regular enemies, uh, unlike the other invisible promoter. And I'm worried about those forts there. So... Oh, we have some enemies right here from the start as well. 
So, Subaki is forced. I kind of got that. I just noticed, I don't think there are any archers on this map. That's excellent. Seeing as there are more magic users coming from this side, I probably want to put the, uh... Yeah. Thankfully, unlike Kamui, you can actually move his position around. I have no idea where Kaldori is going to spawn, though, so that's going to be worrying. And we have a hero there, too. Yeah, your skill is very, very high. I guess I can put him next to Hana. Now the question is, who else do we bring? Pretty much everyone is roughly up to the same level here, except for, uh... I may kind of want to bring Azuma and Setsuna. In fact, Arch is going to be kind of useful here in general, so... Let's just... I haven't used you two in a while, so I might want to bring you two. Let's just, for now... Kick out everyone, and you two, and you know what? We're choke pointing like this. This might call for two archers. So I'll do that. And then, who else should we bring? Now, there are a few mages on that side, and so magical tanks like Cardin, which by process of elimination means Mozu. Magical tanks like Cardin may do quite well. Hmm. Kamui is going to be a little bit hard pressed without his much, much better than him waifu on hand. Two more slots. We have Azuma for healing. You know what? Okay, okay. Everyone I send out, I'm going to be giving Master Seals because uh, we're probably all going to promote in this chapter. Not sure that Hayato will be all that great here, so maybe leaving him out. Azura might be useful, but I guess maybe I could go for Kana here. And then one more choice, and that would be... Do you want to use you two, but you'll get opportunities later? Uh, probably Scarlet, actually. Just in case I need a real heavy hitter. Okay then, so we have lots of magic users here, and that means Cardin is going to be very effective. Thankfully, Mozu was already close. Uh-oh. Um, and I'm going to be choke-pointing more offensive characters over here. And due to that, that... I reckon this side would use my... Where are you, Setsuna? There you are. Okay, put you down there. You two go up there. And then... I just realized that I only have one healer and we're kind of split up. In that case, maybe... I'm so sorry, Scarlet, but... Uh, might want to put Felicia here. In that case... Kakero swaps with Felicia. You two down there. You two are going to choke point there. You two are going to magically choke point there. Kana is still separated from Kamui, so that's not... Oh, someone's going to get separated regardless. Yeah, I need to take you out quickly so that these two can get reunited. But other than that, I think we're pretty much fine as far as positioning goes, so yeah, let's let's go, I guess. Wait a minute, I put both the healers on the same place. Oh, and that makes them even more split up. Ah, uh, why are you forcing me to split up all of the... Uh... There's no way to do this without splitting people up, is there? I guess not, sadly. Okay then. I guess let's go. Now, the question is, where will Kaldori spawn? <sighs> oh no. Let me help. Yeah, I put Sabaki on the wrong place. Oh well. Huh? At least she's joining right from the beginning. I'm sorry. Uh, I want to help. Uh, I think you'll be even better than him, seeing as he's kind of bad at this point. 
Kaldori. Yes, of course. Yeah, let's be careful. Ah, <laughs> I had a feeling they'd do something like this. Yes, this song's back, and you are already... Oh, wow, you're level 17. I guess the children's scale, too. Let me just check. So, equal strength, but you have much better stats in everything else except skill and defense. Yeah. Even... S wow! Even so, though, I am still not exactly... That is amazing, though. I mean, you get hurt quite a lot in return, but that is actually pretty amazing. And yes, we have this song, which is amazing. I've been saying amazing quite a lot lately, but yes, this this is amazing. Though, this was never, a, like, a song that, like, you would... You only hear this song in Awakening if you played a skirmish, so... Really, this isn't exactly... Like fitting for the totally not awakening children. Fox combo. This is too much fun. <laughs> wow. Okay, getting defense is okay. Just don't really want any kind of physical person to attack him. And I kind of need to kill you. Otherwise, but I do want to kill the hero as well, so this is going to be a bit tricky. Oh, that's not good. And you can't actually shoot... Okay, then. Um, yeah, these enemies are going to be hitting us kind of hard. If I use size or start there, will anyone get buffed? I'll try it at least. Oh yes! Yes! Conquest Ablaze! Kind of ironic right, they named that song Conquest when... We knocked off his helmet already! Kind of ironic right, they named that song Conquest when uh, they didn't even realise there'd be a game called Conquest in the future. Oh yeah, and... Uh, yeah, that just went off. Oh, also, Kagero has capped her strength. That's kind of annoying, her strength cap is so low, though. She can use a much higher one. I know you're really supposed to promote her to Mechanist, I guess, because I'm guessing that has a higher strength cap, but I really want to make her a Master Ninja, because she's seriously too awesome of a ninja not to be a Master Ninja. I want to make, Ka uh, not Kaze, Sizor Mechanist, just because that'd be a little bit different to what people would normally expect. Interestingly enough, the Papa's Katana that I just made, I think, is actually better than the Yato at this point. And the Dragonstone does equal damage. Okay. I, am I like this river, though. Uh, on my way. And if you only had one more strength... Actually, now I think about it, she has a statue, doesn't she? Right. This is a fairly cool looking map with this river. And equip the Yumi of Death, not the uh, Shame Death one. And... Uh, now, I think my higher priority is to heal Cardin because he's on a... He's basically on a choke point. Okay, Kaldori, let's see how good you are. I'd appreciate if you dodge there. Done better. <laughs> and she is a perfectionist as always. I need to get her to her father though. He's kind of on the uh, other side of things. Question is who choke points that side? You only have 18 and. Okay, at least uh, she's not getting doubles. Definitely sending Kaldori up the top end, I think. I'm guessing there are going to be reinforcements here, too. So, top end of the map. Uh, yeah, I want to promote these two as soon as I can. 
probably should have given him a garden Aginata, but oh well. Oh, yeah. Both of these choke points have incoming heroes. This one has more magic uses on it though, so... Now you only have steel swords, except you, uh, there's another incoming magic user. I think I'll have you just go there for the moment. That's actually not going to finish you, is it? Yeah, that's the problem with Sabaki. He is kind of bad. Also probably should have given her better katanas, but oh well. I'll help you. Let me help Thank you for the dodge there, that's much appreciated. Yeah, I want these two to promote quickly. Because how much do you take from that hero? 17 still! That's not exactly good. In fact, it's very, very bad. Everything is fine. Oh, I love this part of the song. You know I had this song as my ringtone for a really long time, in real life? Flawless. The battle version, I mean. Oh, okay, these two have a support. Interesting. And your hit rate is suddenly very, very low. So, husband- Oh, and I have a rescue staff in case things get really bad. So, husband or powers and luck rally, go! And I forgot to give everyone Master Seals, that's annoying. Thank you for the dodge! Victory, victory. And fall into the river. And please nobody die. That is worrying! I think Kana may die. Well, everyone seems to be dodging today. And the hero didn't attack, just the regular mercenary. Now, Kana, I actually would like you to maybe not Dragon Fang on crit. <laughs> I love how just agile she is as a dragon, that's really cool. Come on. And now it's time for Brokening. I, won't stand idle. I like how those forts look, though. And that is exactly why I put Card in there. Except he actually did get hit. Yeah, I thought card would be much more effective at choke pointing a uh, resistance based choke point. Doesn't quite kill these things though. In fact, he might be able to promote to a Nine Tails quite soon. And of course, obvious jokes will ensue. Okay then, Kaldori, get near where your father is now. That side up the top needs more people. Okay, nobody moved- okay, some people moved over there. Those heroes don't seem to be moving just yet though. So... Uh, yeah, you need to get healed. And I'm really, really glad that I put a healer on both sides. I'll pay you back, promise. I love the way this map looks, just like the, the, the colours and the... Overall, actually, the the color and sort of like of the graphics in this game, I like them a lot better than Awakening. Beautiful, just like me. <laughs> yeah, you are definitely becoming a Nine Tails soon. Payback time! Wow, that's awesome. That's really awesome. Uh, because you need to. Yeah, okay. So you can access the convoy if you're next to Kamui. That's good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, guards, uh, seal defense plus Kamui's broken bow of doom equals you all die. Keep it together. But Oboro needs the experience more. Done already. Yeah, I'm gonna need lots of master seals. I'm in fact worried the shop's not gonna have enough stock to cover our needs. Hmm. Uh, do we need more people up? I think we need more people on the 
fire choke point, I think. So I'll send the ninjas there for now. And yeah, he's got a master seal in preparation for later, but I actually think... I'll send Kaldori up here for now. And then... I like that she's kind of close to the level of her parents. Okay, yeah, that hero, I don't like that hero at all. The plus six speed is pretty amazing. What does Sabaki give? Plus four. Oh, wow, his S rank pair up bonuses are kind of underwhelming for S rank pair up bonuses. And by kind of underwhelming, I mean really underwhelming. Let's just get rid of you. I'm still not sure whether to promote her to Sniper or to Kinchi Knight. I, I think I might go Sniper with her just to have like an extra Sniper to contrast with Takumi when I don't use Takumi in the rare times that I don't use him. Oh, I don't like that hero. And while I like the prospect of that, the hero gets even more terrifying if I do do that. You know what? Defense Tonic would be kind of good on Sabaki at this point. Probably should have used one of those. Alternatively, I could have him go on the forts. I don't know. You know, losing Sabaki in the chapter where his daughter joins would be incredibly embarrassing. Okay, I guess I can try it, though. And let's go ahead and heal her. I want to compare her to... I'll, I'll be able to compare them more, more closely in supports, but let's just see. So, Hana there. Yeah, I guess Kaldori does kind of look like her. Or Kaldori, as he seems to be pronouncing it. Unless the heroes don't move until later. Okay, good, you don't have an axe, so... Uh, 11 damage is worrying, though. Oh, are we fighting? Did she just say, oh, are we winning? Ah, oh, hi there, hero! Wait, no, you're just a regular mercenary. And you're doing 9 damage. Which is actually pretty scary, considering Tsubaki is supposed to be defensively focused. Yeah. I do get the feeling that weapon ranks are slower to rise in this game than they were than they were in earlier games. And that is not the hero. Oh yeah, Takumi, of course you say no mercy. You show no mercy to us on the north route at all. Yeah. And I thought so. No, we can't. How could this happen? Oh, wow, you have the exact same, yeah, defeat point as Kamui does. Yeah, you look almost exactly like Iago, also wasted jewel guard. I mean, seven damage, it's not exactly wasted, but still. Ah! I don't trust that at all. I don't think Subaki can handle that. But Kaldori can't handle it either. I wish that she joined with a javelin because that would make her a lot more useful. Oh uh, well. At least the sword catcher is effective here. Still though, that's a lot of damage. Probably best to actually try and shoot first. I like that you double this hero though. You gotta Okay, good, you at least hit one more than I can say for your performance in the arena. Uh, what happens if Hana... Oh yeah, that's terrible. Then that hero will most likely just destroy her. But if I do that, I can get a guard... Wait, if I get the guard gauge up to two, the next thing that attacks me will raise it to full, which is probably going to be that thing, and then the hero will attack. I think that's okay then. 
So I really, really want to need... I will need to heal Kaldori after this. How much does she take from that? Five. And if she's taking 20 plus two already, yeah, I will need to heal her after that. And that means I won't be able to heal Subaki, which is not good. Actually, we'll get a full guard gauge after that. Yeah, I blame the fact that I should have... Ah, uh, I should have put these two on the higher choke point. Yeah, it's more intense up here. Should have realized that. Also, Sword Catcher seems to lower your evasion a bit. Uh, let's go for it! I'll do my uh, the Sword Catcher itself, like, does look really cool. Such a pet. Uh, not enough. Nope. Okay, you have seven left. I must train harder. Yes, you must, and that's enough to survive being being hit by that um by that dark mage there. So I actually don't need to heal Kaldori. Oh, I forgot to even check out what a personal skill was. Prodigy, plus four damage to foes with. What? Okay, so foes with strength or magic greater than her strength or magic, whichever is higher. So anything with higher than 15 strength, she gets plus 4 damage against. Like that hero. So that's actually, that's pretty cool actually. Uh, that's an interesting skill, but once she gets high enough to like cap out her strength stat, then... Uh, Jewel Nugget Art is a very bad idea. Once she gets high enough, like, to cap out her strength stat, it's going to be less useful, so it's like, better when she's lower leveled. Phew. Though a lot of her class options don't exactly have the best strength caps in the world, but then again, the classes they'll be fighting that have higher strength caps are things like, like, Berserkers, like, which are on the opposite end of the weapon triangle to them anyway, so... Aren't good, and you worry me a lot. I mean, what doesn't out of the promote? Well, what doesn't when I'm using Subaki because he's kind of bad? At least he is for me. Although I've heard a lot of people have not had good experiences with him. Seems like his only good stat is skill, which is kind of annoying. Uh, if we take one step forward, we get attacked by the hero. Which is definitely a problem. I think I do want to get rid of you though. And that's not going to be enough. But I can use this for some experience for someone else. Oh, and that's really not enough. With, with his really flashy battle animations, I keep expecting Karden to suddenly activate some kind of skill. But he is not really. Uh, that's terrible. Yeah, so of course I'm using you. And that's a 5% crit rate. Come on, be lucky and live up to your name. Okay, good. That's that's good. I apologize. Yeah, this enemies here are definitely worth a lot of experience. Yeah, that is pretty decent. Best I can really expect from you at this point. Because you've already capped your best stat. And yeah, she's already at full health, so she's not benefiting from that built in live to serve. And now on the. They have exactly the same amount of experience left. They're perfect for each other. Anyway. Uh. Yeah, I'm gonna stay on the offensive like this. My bow is yours. You have my bow. <laughs> I would say in my axe, but I have not brought any axe users in this chapter. Okay, please, Subaki, hold out. I know Kaldori can. And I had a feeling that was gonna hit. And high enemy does nothing. Uh, I sense a cunning plan. 
I sense a very cunning plan. Yes, perfect. I don't think that's so perfect. I'm actually worried. Yeah, wasting the guard gauge. And then you're going to send one of the more powerful enemies into attack him, aren't you? Which, thankfully, Subaki will not one, one shot, which means that... Wait a minute, a normal mercenary? Uh, yeah, I'm still worried. Well, at least he leveled up. Almost magic. <laughs> and at least he gained some okay stats again. Hi there, hero! Yeah, I knew you'd be coming at us. Even with the beast rune, Cardin is very fragile. At least he's strong enough to take two hits from that hero. I will say I really love how enemy, how awesome generic enemy heroes look in this game, but uh, they are a bit of a threat in this chapter, especially with that 5% crit rate there. Speaking of crit rate, uh, Takumi, crit more, please. Yeah, I don't like the idea of that. Uh, also, yeah, this is a route chapter. I had a feeling it was, but I wasn't going to check. Turn 4. Why do I get the feeling these forts are suddenly going to spawn enemies in them? Okay, yeah, you have less experience. Finally, you get to do this. And this is not actually enough. Wow, something that doesn't get one-shotted by the Fujinumi after being defense sealed. But! That went well. Good opportunity for a tag team, then. Come on, double level up. Yes! Yes. Luck is good. Yeah, that's good too. Apparently, my Oboro's been worse than a lot of people's Oboro's normally are. I mean, she does have some great defense and resistance for me, so definitely one of the best tanks I've got. Okay, gotta be careful that we don't bite off more than we can chew here. And this is a bad position. And that's also a bad position. I don't like either of you two. Yeah, Azuma, a priest, yeah, has better... Yeah. Wait a minute, I can potentially heal Kaldori with... That might actually be a decent idea. Alternatively, okay, I think this is what I'm... I, that will mean that you'll be able to get us, though. What I'm... What I think I might do is... I might actually shoot you with Setsuna, just to get another enemy out of the way. Next. Okay, I was about to say gain strength, please, and you did, and... Oh, uh, yeah. Her skill is not so good for an archer. Kind of interesting to see an archer with amazing speed, but not so good skill. Interesting. So, question. Okay, that's bad. That's bad. But if only one of them attacks in, in a single turn, it's not too bad. Alternatively, I can't even switch there. That is death. So, and you have even more... Well, you both have equal strength. Equal attack power, so don't use Hana here. Glad we got that sorted. Alternatively, I could do that, but that's probably not going to end well in the long run. Sixteen. Okay, then. I still think this and then healing with Azuma may be the best course of action overall. No, I'll still say Conquest of Blaze is still one of my favorite battle themes in the whole of series. Course. Though Justice R.I.P. is close. I think you can actually... Okay, you have a full guard gauge, so I think you can actually... I can afford to not heal you. That is actually kind of good, because that means I can heal Kaldori, and I can actually have her take out that Dark Mage. Oh uh, yeah, Azuma needs a little bit more before he can promote. 
Yeah, let's go for the Iron Naginata. It doesn't look as cool as the Sword Catcher, though. And yeah, that's a really bad hit rate. But of course you hit anyway! I knew I was gonna jinx it! I'm all sweaty now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was great. Now, I wonder who's better, her or Hinoka? I mean, she might actually be kind of better. Uh, let's... Uh, hmm. I could try this. Come on, crit! I probably won't get one now that I've said it. I'm over here. And poison! Yeah, ninjas are really useful at weakening other enemies, and wow, you are quite ahead of Sizor. So in that case, I am going to buff everybody with Sizor. I love Sizor Star, it is such a cool weapon. Does damage, and it's a free rally strength. I mean, that is pretty cool. Because one of the issues with rally skills is that if you use one, you can't attack anything that turn. Well, this actually gets around that. It's an attack and a rally at the same time. As shown there. Now, who to use here? I actually really would like to get... Uh, but Kamui has the slight downside of being terrible. Ah, uh, yeah, gonna go for this. Ah, uh, Kamui, I get the feeling that even promoted you're not going to be very good. Oh yeah, so that misses, but 18% hits. Yeah, enemy logic. All right. And of course, healing you. And... okay, you guys are the only ones who haven't moved yet. I am still very suspicious of the possibility of uh, reinforcements. And also you! I'm suspicious of you because you are suspiciously powerful. And suspiciously likely to kill me. Okay, you're moving. And here's where things get a little bit... Ah. Uh, Or she could trade the sword catcher over to him. Might be a decent option at this point. Because you don't actually... I'm gonna do that for now. So you... Wait a minute, okay, so that's a D and Subaki has a B, that's good, so... Trade the sword catcher over. And... Hey, sword catcher's actually gonna work pretty well. I like the return of weapons like that, although the Sword Slayer back in the Game Boy Advance games. Oh, I have some horrible memories of that. A lot of really tough bosses they just love to give Sword Slayers to. It's like, it's like, oh hey, we got this weapon that not only is uh, reversing the weapon triangle on sword users, but it's also effective against sword users as well. And by effective against sword users, we mean effective against all sword users, which includes sword using lords. I learned that the hard way with Erica and Sacred Stones once. I was like, okay then, so uh, Sword Slayer is effective against Erica's lord class. Good to know. Yeah, that was uh, that was very painful. Let's just say. And I keep. Yeah, you don't have a javelin in this run. And one of the few times where a Kamui assist is actually a good thing. Speaking of which, he's going to assist Kamui with his, with his attack buff as well. And he's also going to assist by using that poison strike. Yeah, ninjas are actually really cool. Like, they're, they're a class that is specialized in weakening enemies for other people to finish off. Which is really helpful in a lot of circumstances. There hasn't really been a class like that in Fire Emblem before. I mean, aside from Alincia's Mercy skill, but nobody really used that anyway. You'll be all right. Okay, I guess you're kind of okay with that level up, but... Female Kamui is still blowing me out of the water. 
range. Also, speaking of ninjas... Uh, yeah! Oh uh, yeah, the difference is that, uh, Kagero, she doesn't exactly specialize in, uh, weakening things. She specializes in... Making them already dead. Because she's amazing. Mission complete. And, okay, we're already up there, and should I lure the boss in his group now? Only been five turns, wow. The time has kind of flown. I sort of want Hana and Tsubaki to take those ones out. I also need a new Sun Festival for Felicia. <laughs> and you two, just, just stay where you are. Those forts are making me suspicious, though. Okay, hi there! Oh yeah, I got the Sword Catcher, which is going to be effective on you too, because you got a Sword Effect. Ouch! And this is going to level 20 him, isn't it? Now, wish I had a Sword uh, Slaying weapon for Hana. Yep, level right. 20. And yeah, he still does not have any particularly good stats except for skill. However, yeah, as much as I'd like Hana to get this, she's not really going to be able to, plus she'll also kind of die. So what I'm actually going to do is... swap the Sword Catcher back to Kaldori, and then it is time for our first promotion of this run. How fitting that Tsubaki is going to promote in, and he looks really, really injured, that Tsubaki is going to promote in the chapter where his child joins. And you know what? I'm going Falcon Knight, because you know what? First potential male Falcon Knight in the series, of course I'm going to do it. So, let's go! I had never heard the promotion theme before, but I will say, okay, that is actually really, really good. My guess is Nor has its own promotion theme too, because this sounds very Eastern flavor. Okay, that's cool. Okay, I think that's better than Awakening's promotion theme, definitely. Oh, okay, I love this song now. You know, no, that's really cool. I like that. So, Tsubaki is now Falcon Knight. First ever male Falcon Knight in the series. Which is fairly cool, I guess. And if she misses, she dies. Actually gonna heal her. Okay, yeah, that's a pretty cool promotion theme. Like, Awakenings was decent, but it actually didn't really feel all that much like a promotion theme to me. S still, though, my favourite promotion theme of all time in the series is definitely Path of Radiance. If you have not heard the Path of Radiance promotion theme, I highly suggest you look it up, because it's absolutely amazing. Speaking of amazing promotion themes, though... It's time for Kamui's promotion. Yeah, like mo most modern Fire Emblem Lords, you promote him with an item, so yeah. He can promote to Hoshidor Noble, known as White Blood in the Japanese version. This uses katanas, staves, or rods, and dragon stones, so let's just hope this makes him at least kind of better. Let's go! Uh, I just want to leave this here and just listen to this promotion theme song. I love this promotion song. This is going to be stuck in my head for a while, actually. Yeah, one of my favourite promotion songs in the series in a long time, actually. Since the Path of Radiance one, which is, yeah. I don't like the Radiant Dawn one as much, but the Path of Radiance promotion theme is, yeah, that is absolutely amazing. Okay, so his animations are a little different, too. 
and he has a white cape with a Hoshido sigil on it, so he kind of looks basically the same as he used to, but uh, oh, now that I think about it, I kind of wish that the Hoshido and Nor Noble attires were uh, alternate costumes in Smash Brothers. That would be pretty cool, actually, because they look a lot cooler than his regular attire. Now, again, I want to save those enemies there for... Doesn't look like they're going to be... I, I don't want to jinx it. I'm, I don't want to jinx it. I was about to say it doesn't look like they're going to be reinforcements. I do not want to jinx it. What I also don't want to jinx is you. Because you have the exact same movement as that mage guy. Actually, you all have the exact same movement. And if Hana gets hit by one of you, because I quite like Hana to promote here too. By the way, let me just check out... Uh, yes, you inherited both the blow skills. I still can't get over how good that promotion theme sounds. That is a really, really cool promotion theme. Gonna switch in Hana for now. And... Maybe I can lure some things? Maybe? Let's see. Also, Kamui's map sprite looks a lot cooler too now. Sign of Hoshido Royalty. Now, at one point I was wondering what Kamui would promote to on the third route. Sadly, I think I've actually been spoiled on that. You can choose either Hoshido or Nor Noble, I think, so... Wonder what I'll choose there. And, of course, you hit. And no one else moves. That worries me a lot. That really worries me a lot. And I could try out the new Hoshido Noble... Pfft, really? That's pathetic. Uh, and I also could use a new staff on Kamui as well, so yeah. That's still a lot of damage, even with a beast room. 19 times 2 though, does that kill you? I don't think it actually kills you. That's bad though. Yeah, I think I'll go for the... wait, yeah, I'll go for the 19 times 2 And then definitely healing him. And yeah, we got this thing coming back. And... I don't want Hana to die. Well, if she gets hit by one of them, she gets a full guard gauge and doesn't die to the other one, so hopefully this works. And no dialogue at all for this boss. So that's a little disappointing. Okay, you're close to promoting too. Please don't let those be famous last words. And then if I actually get Carl Dory to beat something else, the whole family could potentially promote in the same chapter. Except then I worry about the rest of my Master Seals. You know what? Do we have any spare... Rescue. Nope. And I need... I should give that Moon Festival to someone, I just realised. Yeah, that is kind of a waste of a perfectly good staff at lying in the convoy. Yes. I would say Felicia's stats are a little disappointing for a level 17 promoted, but she can actually go higher than... than uh, she can go all the way up to 40, I think. Uh, meanwhile, Azuma just... well... I would have you heal, but uh, you two are already fully supported, so yeah. And then these two are... I'll leave them back for now. Or Hana could just get one-shotted! Ah! That's embarrassing. Oh, and then Tsubaki dies too. Wow, that's even more embarrassing. Dodge one of them, please. Thank you. Well, that went badly pretty quickly. Uh, hmm. I'd kind of rather do an attack stance, although... Yeah, so you won round anyway, so I may as well go for an attack stance. And... So... So skill is Tsubaki's only good stat, and yet his pair-up bonuses don't raise skill at all. That is really bizarre.
Well, you dodged the laser. Well, that's embarrassing. It looks like the whole family may get promoted except for... for Hana. Now what? Uh, thing is, I may actually not focus on promoting the children until maybe a bit later on, because... It's like, I mean, they don't really need it as much at this point, and also that I don't want to... I want to save my Master Seals for the first generation. Like, at this point in the game, I want to. And I guess who needs the most experience is Sizor. Except he's not actually going to finish the thing off. Or is he? Really? Goodbye. Okay, that makes up for that failure with Hana there. That. <laughs> Sizor's like, let me show you how a real master does it. Double three percent crit. So I'll take that. Almost perfect. Almost perfect. Subaki, she is kind of better than you. Thanks. Well, she was. She did start out at level 17. No, you're not. You're better than him in most ways. Uh, yeah. Like falling off their horse. Yeah, your mother's probably told you a lot of stories about that. <laughs> yes. Wow, she's a perfectionist in everything. Yep. Well. Hey. <laughs> 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 yes, she will be. Huh? I must train harder. Yeah, you got that phrase from your mother. Yeah, <laughs> yes, you should. Um, I'm sorry, Sabaki, but you already look like a day one novice. Just saying. And that's the end of the chapter. So that was actually, well, I mean, apart from Hana getting one shot out of my, yeah, that was stupid. Apart from that, that was, that was okay. Yeah, I, I'm just trying to decide, should I actually just go and promote Hana in a skirmish and just tack that onto the end of the video? You know, I might do that, so yeah. Okay, so it's time! This really should have happened in the last chapter, but oh well. So what do I go for? Swordmaster? And that is... That's a lot of speed! I guess you do have something over Ryoma. Defense is incredibly low, though. Or Master of Arms for better defense and HP and strength, but I guess he still has some good, uh, but less skill. Yeah, I think that that Hana overall fits Swordmaster a bit more than Master of Arms. I'm gonna promote, uh, Hinata to that one. So, it's Swordmaster time! I mean, seriously, these are actually the kind of stats that I expect from a maxed level Swordmaster in an early game in the series, so... Yeah, that skill and speed, although her luck is really not good. That's part of why she doesn't really dodge as much. So you basically have a different coloured version of Ryoma's outfit now. Oh wait, that's all you're doing? Come on, you can pull off some cooler sword moves than that. No, you'll just do that. Oh well then. Actually, let's see if Kaldori gets herself to level up. Although, yeah, as you can see, it looks like Hana has a critical bonus now. So I guess Swordmaster still have that. Didn't get one there, though. That was really impressive. Guess it was. And no level 20 for her. Well, let's just compare the two. They do look... Well, the hair colors are definitely similar. 